Hey guys, I had a question in one of my classes the other day asking me to explain the difference between a light L and a dark L. So I've done that before, but let me go ahead and make a new video to explain the differences. Are you ready? So first of all, I'm going to show you the inside of the mouth. So, so these are the upper teeth and these are the lower teeth, and this is your tongue. It's a sideways picture. Mm, okay, these are my upper teeth, lower teeth, and the tongue, okay? Now, if you have an L problem, I, it, the, it's hard to pronounce or it doesn't sound nice, I absolutely recommend the light L. And the light L is really easy. You put your tongue between the teeth, not too much. This is the light L. L, 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 about a, a centimeter, not even a centimeter, okay? I don't know, half a centimeter to a centimeter. L, L, a little bit of vibration. L, L, and I'm saying L. L, 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 L okay? So you can actually see the tongue. That's it. That is the light L. Now, the TH and the L have the same position. L, okay, same position. So what about the dark L? Now the dark L, we actually put the tip of the tongue right here. Okay, the tip of the tongue is there. So I'll put a D. So this is the light L, this is the dark L. L, L, and the tip of the tongue is touching right there. And I'm saying this, L, L, okay? And you know what? The D, 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 T, 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 same position. So the, the T, the D, and the L are the same position for the dark L. Now, in my case, I use both. I use the light L and the dark L. And sometimes when I say this word, I use both. Love, love. All, all. Olive, olive. They sound the same. The sound difference as a native English speaker is zero. Okay, maybe a tiny bit sometimes, but generally this, it's going to sound the same. Okay, so when do I use the dark L? When do I use the light L? Again, if you have an L problem, use the light L. Okay, always. All right, it's going to, because you need to train your ear to hear the proper sound. Once you can hear the proper L and the light L is the easy pronunciation, then you can practice the dark L, okay? But you need to understand the perfect pronunciation. It's very tough. If you're one of my students, you can join me or the other coaches in a live class and then we can help you, okay? So, yeah, love, 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 love. All, 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 all. Olive, 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 olive. It's not easy, but you got to practice. In America, we use both. Some countries seem to focus on one. I believe, and I'm not exactly sure, I believe the Scottish people in Scotland, they prefer the dark L, I believe. And in Ireland, 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 I believe they prefer the light L. I've heard that. I don't know if it's true. Probably they use both like Americans, but I'm not sure. So which one should you use? Whichever one sounds excellent. If they both sound excellent, use both. If your L does not sound good, use the light L, okay?